In this video, I will tell you how to draw a character by using your imagination and a few of my tips. I will show you how George, his cat Maureen, Angela and her puppy were built out of very simple shapes. After that, you can draw your own character. The character George is built out of very basic shapes. His body and his head are both circles that don't differ much in size. His arms are basically just a few lines and small triangles for his hands. His legs and feet are sort of one shape, which is a bit square. Adding some extra lines will indicate the two legs and the feet. We can recognize George by the small patches of hair above his ears and the bald head. These are his characteristics. His eyes are an almond shape and his nose is like half a circle, just like his mouth. I dress him up by adding extra corners that will make him wear a jacket. Three buttons and two pockets. These are also characteristic. He might be dressed for the occasion, so I give him a hat. I almost forgot one very important detail in George's face, his tiny chin. Now, by drawing the outlines in black, I can adjust a bit and make a solid looking George. It's all about simplicity. Less is more when you draw a character. Which doesn't mean you shouldn't exaggerate. It's all in the exaggeration of the simple shapes that make a strong character. You may know from the story that when George is thinking about donuts, he's actually thinking about Angela. Angela's upper body is an oval shape and then her skirt is built out of sort of a square. Her legs and feet are triangle shaped. Angela's head is egg shaped and you could say it's built out of a circle and a triangle. And then another circle for her hair. She has firm arms, drawn by making half circles. Angela always wears an apron at work. Like George, she has almond shaped eyes. She has a turned up nose and she always smiles. By tracing the outlines, I can perfect the shape and make it a whole. Her stripy socks are characteristic too, just like her eyelashes and the way she wears her hair. Oh yes, and her top is a bit tight. George is built out of two circles, his feline companion Maureen is two. What I do is pull them together on one side so that the two shapes become one. Then add a tail. Like Angela's legs, Maureen's legs are simply triangles, only broader. Her ears are triangles too. Circles for eyes, a triangle for the nose and a line downwards forms her mouth. And there is Maureen. See, simplicity is key. For the puppy, the basic shapes are also very simple, only they are squares instead of circles. Two squares and a tail is actually already the whole dog. For the mouth, I use a circle and the nose is square too. The feet are square shaped too, with rounded corners. Large circles for the eyes, looking up, makes him look cute and innocent. All we need is two ears, built out of two lines and a circle. The rounder you make it, the cuter it gets. So that's basically it. Just a few tips. Use your imagination. Keep it simple. 
dare to exaggerate. And above all, have fun. With this knowledge, you can draw your own character. I would love to see what you come up with. So let's make this a fun Facebook challenge. Within the next two weeks, you can post your character drawing onto my Facebook page. By the end of the two weeks, on March the 1st, I will pick a winner out of all submissions. Post your drawing before the 1st of March at facebook.com slash The lucky winner of this challenge will become the owner of my book Millie's Marvelous Monsters, which is printed in a limited edition. Do you want to learn more? Join my online drawing course today at koshukuna.blogspot.com